Hi everyone. Probability topic is going on. So let me continue same topic. Now I have taken so many questions of different topic. Now again uh, I am going to take a probability distribution question. One or two example. So let me see first one. Uh, two cards are drawn successfully without replacement. The previous question we have seen with replacement how to use binomial general formula that we have seen. Now I am taking a probability distribution question that is without replacement means how to use combination result. So two cards are drawn successively without replacement from the reshuffled deck of 52 cards. Find the probability distribution number of k's. Also find the mean uh, variance and the standard deviation whatever. See now see that is x and then p then px then px square. One thing keep in mind you make it this a tabular form. Clear to you? Okay like this you have to. That's why we are saying it is a probability distribution. Now there are two cards that is 0 success, 1 success, 2 success. Now probability of x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 means no card is, which card we are finding probability distribution? Kings. So no, no, no card is a king. So that is, a, uh, we have 4 kings. Uh, now remove 4 kings out of 52. So we have remaining 48 cards. From out of 48 we need 2 cards upon 52 C2. Do you know how to use this? Uh, uh, combination result. Now you know how to uh, simplify 48 into 47 upon 52 into 53. Sorry, 52 into 51. Now we make it a calculation. Now see probability of x is equal to one. X is equal to one may x. That is a uh, uh, out of out of this. Uh, uh, we are taking two cards out of two. One is a k. Means we have four k out of uh, four. We need one into 48 c1 the whole upon 52 c2 now do it again calculation this becomes 4 into 48 upon 52 into 51 into upon 1 into 2 2 goes to numerator here 1 into 2 1 into 2 will be cancelled now probability of x is equal to 2 so that is equal to 4 c2 that is out of 4 we need uh, 2 uh, uh, that is upon 52 C2. Clear to you? So now that is equal to 4 into 3 upon 52 into 51. Now you have to go for calculation. See uh, that is multiplied by this. That means you have to write out. Then again same you have to take it summation P equal to 1. Then previous question I uh, taught you how to find Px and Px square. And fill it up. Then uh, you have to show first summation P equal to 1 first step. And then second step go for mean, mean formula what I have given that is mu equal to summation p into x so that's you know how to find p into x. And then third part I am uh, asking variance, variance that is a sigma square equal to what is the formula summation px square minus a mean ka whole square. So go for calculation and complete the question clear to you. So this kind of question also they will ask this is without replacement. What I taught here without replacement how to find the probability that's I explained to you clear to you. So you have to fill yourself this one. Now let me take another question. Another one C. What they are saying, this is also one of the most important questions. What they are saying here, they have given some probabilities. See, let R denote the number of colleges where you will apply after your results. And Px is equal to x denote your probability of getting admission. And x number of colleges, it is given that Px is equal to, this is, they are saying it is a probability distribution. This is a probability distribution. So you do one thing, you make it a tabular form first to this one. Okay, they are saying it is a probability distribution. Probability distribution means our summation p equal to 1. Now see, I am making tabular form. x is equal to 0, instead of 0, they are k. So keep it x, x instead of x is 0, 0. If I keep instead of x is 1, 1, then you will get k. If we keep instead of x is 2 here, that is if I keep 2, then I am getting 4k. If I keep 3 here, 3, so 5 minus 3, that is 2k. Clear to you? If I keep 4, 5 minus 4, that is 5 minus 4. That if I keep 4, then I am getting k. If I keep above 4, above x is greater than 4, I am getting 0 here. Okay, fine. So I made here a tabular form. So what is given here? Given summation p equal to 1. Clear? Summation p means 0 plus a k plus a 4k plus 2k plus k equal to 1. Now 5k, 7k, 8k. So that is 8k equal to 1. 8k equal to 1 implies k equal to 1 upon 8. So probability distribution means summation p equal to 1. 
first you convert it into tabular form like this then after that you use the condition when they say probability distribution summation p equal to 1 then you get value of k now go for subdivision whatever they are asking first part they are asking probability of x is equal to 1 now x is equal to 1 what is the probability k you know value of k k is 1 upon 8 clear now second part they are asking what they are asking probability of x less than or equal to 2 so that is equal to probability of x equal to 0 plus probability of x equal to 1 plus the probability of x equal to 2. Now see what is the probability of x equal to 0, 0 is 0. Plus the probability of x equal to 1, what is the probability k? And x is equal to 2, what is the probability 4k? That is equal to 5k. Now value of k is 1 by 8, 5 upon 8. Clear to you? Now part number 3, they are asking probability of x greater than or equal to 2. So that is equal to above 2. Above 2 means you can go for 3, 4, otherwise 1 minus if you want to do it. So we need x is equal to 2 and then above 2 plus x equal to 3 and then x equal to 4, x equal to 3 and then x equal to 4. Above 4 is 0, then probability of x equal to above 4 is 0 they have given. x is equal to 2 probability is 4k, 3 is 2k and then this k and rest 1 is 0. Now this is 6, 7k. Now k value is 7 upon 8. Clear to you like this type of question also frequently we used to ask.